Good morning to everyone and welcome to this Kevin webinar uh, on funding in Wales. Uh, today's webinar is kindly hosted by Dave Bevan of Concept Business Solutions. Our event today will be 45 minutes of presentation by Dave, followed by a Q&A session on any specific questions that you might have. For those who want to ask a question, there is an option in the Zoom menu for Q&A, which you can use to ask us a question uh, at any time during the presentation. Uh, so without much further ado, I will hand over to Dave, who will take <coughs> Thank you, uh, Derry. Uh, good morning to everyone. Uh, on this lovely day, thanks very much for your time this morning. Um, uh, the Funding in Wales uh, presentation I'm going to give today will give an overview of, um, of funding. We will talk about the content of the presentation, <clears throat> the aim of the presentation. Uh, I'll, talk, uh, I'll talk some about COVID-19 funding support, which is relevant uh, in the current circumstances we, we face at the moment. I'll go into Welsh Government funding. Uh, I'll also go into local authority funding and also into Development Bank of Wales funding and some other funding that, uh, that you may not uh, know about. Um, and also after the presentation, I'll provide you with some useful links to, to use um, if you feel uh, that you need further information on, on certain funds. And finally at the end, um, I'll be open to questions. If you have any certain questions you want to ask me, that's uh, absolutely fine. So if, if we move uh, into the aim, the main aim of this presentation is to provide an overview of potential funding in Wales for SMEs. Um, I've worked with a, a lot of companies over, over, over the span of over 20 years with, uh, with funding, um, and I'm going to give you an overview of that funding uh, today. So, as we know, in response to the current pandemic and the effect on businesses, the government set out the following support uh, as a reaction to uh, supporting companies that uh, were for either forced to close down uh, or um, uh, due to lay staff off, etc. So, the Economic Resilience Fund. I want to particularly talk about this because it's relevant. Um, if you go onto the site, um, the Welsh Government site, it's currently paused at the moment. Now, the reason it's paused is because the, the Welsh Government have been inundated with applications, um, as you can imagine. Uh, they offer grants to micro-businesses, uh, small uh, SMEs and large companies as well. The current pause is, is due to the fact of the amount of applications, um, but Welsh Government are assessing this at, at this moment in time and will <clears throat> We'll come back shortly with, uh, hopefully, uh, some further funds to support companies uh, in Wales. Uh, the companies that were eligible for that economic resilience fund were particularly companies that didn't fit the criteria of the next heading I'll go under now, which would be the rates relief for, uh, for Wales, uh, which covered retail, leisure, hospitality, 100% uh, rate relief and grants up to 10,000 to 25 based on rateable value. <clears throat> so companies that didn't fit into that particular uh, grant were able to apply for the Economic Resilience Fund. Now moving on to, uh, which I think is a, is a good scheme, uh, the coronavirus bounce back loan. I'm not sure whether any of uh, any of you have applied for it, but um, <clears throat> it's, it's a good scheme. It's uh, you can borrow up to twenty percent of the company turnover uh, to a maximum of fifty thousand, and through experience uh, working with companies, um, the application process is straightforward, uh, easy. Um, if if you go to your own lender, uh, and usually the funds are in your account within twenty four hours, um, and I've had a lot of companies. Uh, uh, feedback to me on this and uh, they have had funds in their account within 24 hours. It's 100% government guarantee, so there's no personal guarantees needed. No payments and interest free 
or the first year. So you don't actually pay any payments or interest for the first year. Uh, the loan will be over six years uh, and the rate of interest after the year will be 2.5%. Um, <clears throat> so I, I would urge companies to, to look into this if, if you haven't already. It's a good scheme. It's, uh, it's a good way of financing the company through, uh, through these very uncertain times. Okay, so continuing on the COVID-19 funding support, you will probably be aware of this. I think it's relevant to talk about these schemes if you do employ people. Um, the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme uh, funds up to 80% of month monthly uh, wage costs, uh, up to a maximum of 2,500 per month. Now, <clears throat> this scheme was um, due to end um, uh, in August, but the government have uh, extended it to October 2020. Uh, it's a good scheme to have, and it, it, it sort of safeguards employees that otherwise would have been uh, made redundant or, uh, or taken uh, unpaid uh, leave. Um, so the next one, self-employment income support scheme. Uh, this is a taxable grant of 80% uh, of average monthly trading profits. Um, it's a single investment covering three months. And, and just to bear in mind as well that um, there's no application deadline for this uh, at this moment in time. So don't worry if you haven't made uh, uh, or allocated a date and time with the HMRC, uh, the invitation doesn't expire. And uh, like I said, there's no, uh, there's no time limit to it either. Okay, so that, that's important to, uh, to, to, to know. So we go into um, Welsh Government funding at this pr uh, present moment in time. And um, I was uh, talking earlier about this as well. It, it's nice sometimes to come back and report to you because the funding in Wales does change. And, and the, these times that we're going through at the moment are uncertain uh, and uh, the funding scene does change on a, on a regular basis, new things come through. So, uh, and that's government reacting really to, uh, to the current demand uh, for uh, business finance and support in Wales. So the first one I'm going to talk about is um, this, this, this part of uh, Welsh Government is um, companies that are looking at uh, improving their processes um, and also if they're developing new products, um, services for the market, then um, this, this could be uh, of support to, uh, to small, medium-sized companies. So the Innovation Funding IV, uh, it's the development and introduction of innovative product or process, and that is up to 50% max 25,000. This scheme is um, it's got a relatively straightforward scheme to apply for. There's an application pro uh, form uh, that you complete to talk about what you're planning to do, uh, what impact that has on your business, how you're changing your process if, if, if you're uh, manufacturing or, or whatever, um, introducing new technology, then this could be a one-off um, support to support the cost incurred in that as well. So it's 50% to a max of 25. Um, uh, as, as, as I mentioned earlier, the, um, at the end of this presentation, I've um, attached some you know, useful links. So if, if you need to click onto it and have a look through, uh, the link will take you to the particular section for Smart Cymru uh, funding support. And there, there, there are other support uh, options there as well if you're working with a university to collaborate uh, in developing new products, processes. Uh, there's some funding support for that as well. But I, in particular, I pull these ones out because I think they're, they're quite relevant. Uh, the next one is Process Innovation, IV+. Uh, this is to implement a new method of production, process or service. It seems quite similar to the IV above, uh, but the rate of uh, uh, grant intervention is, is higher. So it's up to 50% max 100,000. Uh, and again, it's a similar, a similar application form. It's about two sheets uh, that you need to complete uh, to talk about your project in more detail. Um, 
and also um, it can fund an upgrade to uh, a recently developed pro product uh, and uh, industrial deployment. So it, it, it kind of, if you're introducing new technology, new machinery <clears throat> to your process um, equipment um, and it's new technology to the business, then these, these, may, um, these may support you um, in, in some grant funding. So it's 50% intervention, so uh, whilst government need to be satisfied that um, the balance of the investment, the other 50% is uh, it will be in place. Um, <clears throat> and draw down on these particular funds, the two I'm talking about now, is you have to pay the equipment and then you draw the money down. So it, that, that's important to bear, bear in mind if, uh, if you are looking at this. So the next one is Smart Cymru R&D. Now this is uh, this is a larger fund for larger R&D projects, but you know I, I've worked with a lot of companies, small companies that have uh, uh, projects uh, that they're going to be working on. They they run a they, they may run a, a a business alongside, but they've got a development arm to it as well. They're looking at, into uh, developing a new product uh, to sell the market or, or, or whatever. So there's there's quite a bit of funding under this scheme. Um, and just to give you a, a kind of insight, which again, go back to the links that I have provided at the end of the slide. Uh, the, these are kind of numbers of, you know, it can be anything from feasibility study to 30,000, it could be uh, industrial research and development up to 100. So there's significant amounts of money uh, in, in that particular fund. So, so basically it's, it, it is linked to R&D, but, um, uh, this scheme has been running for a very long time and it's been hugely successful for, for even startups as well that are looking at um, uh, pr uh, new products processes or, or new products for the market. So uh, it's this one to, uh, to, to bear in mind. Then, then we go on to um, repayable business finance. This scheme has been uh, in Welsh Government for a very long time. Um, it was, uh, I think it was around a bit over eight years ago that government decided to, um, instead of offering a grant, um, uh, they, they would offer repayable business finance under, you know, good terms. Um, and uh, the rate uh, of intervention, the rate uh, the company potentially could get um, is it, around sort of 30 to 40 percent of, of, uh, of the project. Now this repayable business finance, uh, as it says, it, it is repayable, but there's favourable terms <coughs> to businesses. Um, for example, um, it, it, you know, you could have a payment holiday for a year or whatever. It, it, it tends to kick in the payments when the companies are the profits. Uh, the repayable business finance, um, there's no limit to it um, in terms of rates that you get. Uh, so it's, it's between 50 uh, and, and up in the millions, really. Uh, and uh, obviously, the larger the project, the, the, the more funding you're likely to, to get through, through that scheme. It's, it's not a loan, it's, uh, uh, because it would come under, um, obviously, uh, you know, the, the, the stir levels of sort of, it, it, it's more percent um, interest rate um, and uh, it's repayable and that's agreed when any offer has gone out to, to business. Uh, it is linked to uh, similar to grants, think of it the way of a grant, it is linked to similar criteria to the grant. So it, it is linked to job creation uh, and, and, and there needs to be a level of capital spend in the spend as well. Okay, so um, every project is, uh, is assessed on a, you know, case by case basis really. Um, so that's been going for a long time. It's still out there at the moment, but with the current situation with funds changing uh, dramatically to support the, uh, the situation that we're in at the moment uh, and businesses uh, are under pressure, uh, it's still there, but it, it, there's not really been an uptake on that particularly because of the other funds coming. So that's around, that will certainly be around for the future. Uh, and it's, uh, I, I work with companies that have, uh, have had this funding and it works for them. And they're quite happy to repay it back because 
it kind of recycles some money, so uh, other businesses can can, uh, can gain support through this as well. One of the things that you want to bear in mind as well on this particular fund is that um, they will <clears throat> you you have to exhaust all the areas of funding before you go to Welsh government for this particular payable business finance. So that really means is that you know you've gone to your own bank, you know uh, you, you may have had a a loan, but um, uh, you, you've maybe been to develop the Bank of Wales, um, and there is still a gap in the funding of your project to, to, to move it forward. So, therefore, um, this is where the intervention comes in from the Welsh Government to say, Well, you know, there's a gap in the funding, and uh, the company would require 30, 50, 60, sorry, 60, 70,000 pounds to, to enable the project to proceed. and it would create excellent jobs uh, and, and, and provide many benefits to Wales as well. So, uh, so yeah, good scheme, and, and a lot of companies have taken um, taken that up uh, a lot over the, over the years. <clears throat> so, I want to talk on this slide about, um, which I think is relevant, really, local authority funding, because some some organisations, um, businesses as well. Uh, micro businesses, small businesses, tend to forget that um, you know through 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 their busy lives as well that um, they've got things you know to do. Uh, that, that actually councils do provide smaller grants as well for smaller projects. When we say projects, it could be. Uh, and I'm going to run through an example as well through through uh, a local authority in particular, just to give you some flavour of um, what type of support they do offer. Um, they get allocated uh, a budget for um, every year for um, business development, business um, grants, uh, and of course uh, the time, these times that we're going through at the moment, uh, I, I would think that um, you know councils have been allocated monies and, 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 and will be working at, on some main schemes in, in the near future, um, but we'll wait and see and that's a and maybe an opportunity to come back and to sort of update you on, on any new funds that come through. So, in particular, get onto the website of your local authority, wherever you are, uh, whether it be Cardiff, Neath, or Talbot, <coughs> Newport, and just have a look at uh, what the council, plug in uh, business grants into the uh, search engine, and it will come up with. Uh, some funding that, that would be available as well. I know, I know that Newport City Council uh, offer uh, small grants for startups, and they're, they're normally at from five hundred to a thousand pounds for smaller projects. But they do offer as well uh, a loan scheme, so uh, you know small companies can apply for that as well in a very very favourable terms. Uh, uh, so, so again, we emphasize the fact that you know, look at your local authority site as well because they may have funds or they may be developing some new funds to to support companies within the local authority area. In particular, I want to talk about uh, a local authority area, Kipperley Council. So, um, in terms of uh, their their grants, they they offer grants. From a thousand to two and a half thousand, uh, and some of these some of these funds uh, will support things like marketing, things like the website, which maybe you wouldn't have thought of you know, in the past of uh, you know support towards that. But it's, it's like I said, it's always worthwhile looking at it. Uh, it supports things like capital spend. If you wanted to buy a small machine, it could be it could be a laptop, it could be you know a, a printer that you wanted. Uh, those are the type of things that they would support, and the application process is, is quite straightforward. It's not intense. Um, you know, you provide uh, some information on uh, your company, uh, turnover, uh, if you have accounts, then you can provide those accounts to them. Uh, and uh, they turn around quite quickly as well. So, uh, so yeah, have a look at that because they are relevant and, and they do. Uh, support smaller, smaller projects, and, and I know a lot of companies that I've worked with uh, have, have benefited from um, local authority funding. So it's, it's always it's always good to, to keep keep an eye on, on on what goes on there. 
Um, and of course, you know, especially in these times as well, that you know, they, they, as I said, they will be looking at uh, other things as well. So, just just to recap on on the local authority, which I think is uh, very important: um, websites, e-commerce sites, feasibility studies, even business planning. If, you know, if you're looking at putting a business business plan together and you need assistance with that, then some some of this funding can, can actually go towards that, and maybe the business plan that preparing is you're actually going for more additional funding maybe through development bank or whilst government or whatever but it will uh, will support things like that capital equipment even hardware software uh, and some in many cases property infrastructure as well if you have commercial premises there may be some support through there I know that uh, Ron and Hill and Taft do something very similar on properties as well and they had a scheme that would support some Changes to a retail uh, uh, shop as well. So uh, again, very important to uh, to sort of keep on on with that. And as I said, I've, I've provided those links in, in, in the slide as well. So we move on to Development Bank of Wales funding. Uh, so the, just to give you, a, you probably know this. I don't know, but I'm, I'll, I'll let you know anyway. So Development Bank of Wales was set up by Welsh government to support the economy in Wales and, and businesses small, uh, micro, small, medium size and large. Uh, they, they offer micro loans. Um, and I'm just going to go back a slightly on this. When um, all this happened with the coronavirus pandemic, uh, Development Bank of Wales did bring out a fund in response to that. But as you can imagine, the uptake on that, and that was at the early stages of it, was uh, unbelievable and uh, I think within, within a week um, they had to close the fund down because um, it was kind of over, over uh, subscribed um, but this is the type of this is the funding that's out there it's still available and it's it will be available in the future as well so so the micro loans uh, are loans from a uh, thousand to fifty thousand um, <clears throat> and and also if, if you're looking to apply for a a smaller loan, um, 1,000 to 10,000 as well. We've, we've got a, uh, a two day a fast uh, track scheme that um, uh, the information that you provide um, the Bank of Bank Wales is not intense. Uh, it, it's kind of information that you would assume that they would need, but uh, they can generally turn those around pretty quickly uh, for the right type of businesses as well. So, uh, so, so something to uh, consider. Um, uh, Development Bank of Wales as well. They they they, they do work on um, a lot of other schemes as well. But I thought this one was was kind of more relevant to uh, to the audience. But if if if, if not, um, happy to provide some further information on the the, the other types of funds that um, that they offer as well. They, they they look at sort of things like equity as well. So they provide equity funding. <coughs> And, uh, and a natural value as well, technology funding as well for, for, for businesses that are high kind of tech as well. Uh, so the equity funding, they, they obviously have a, a stake in, in the business and they, they've done a lot of work with um, uh, investments on, on startups as well, uh, new ideas. Uh, so uh, so I, again, I, I provided that link uh, in, in this presentation for that. Um, so the general uh, repayment terms they, they range from one to ten years. So uh, if you're a business and you know you keep an eye on cash flow, then obviously you can you know, spread that term over a longer period. Um, the interest rates are charged, you know, are based on the individual circumstances. So uh, and a fix for the term of, 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 of the loan. So nothing. Um, Nothing changes with that. I, I know a lot of businesses have taken advantage of this uh, this micro loan uh, because it's uh, it, it's it's uh, especially the uh, the fast track scheme as well because it's so flexible. Um, and uh, not to forget what, what I mentioned earlier in my presentation about the bank, bank's back loan as well. A lot, a lot of companies have taken advantage of that because. <clears throat> you know, in, in, in where would you find uh, funding of that? Uh, level and and uh, rates as well and paper terms on uh, 
a year normal payment and interest payments as well. So, uh, so something to, to, to consider in terms of if you're looking at some debt finance, your business to help you through uh, these very, you know, certain times uh, to get you back on, on track. There's some, there's some options there you can, <clears throat> you can look at. <clears throat> okay, so um, this, is, this is a relatively, uh, well, it, it, it's, it's, it's not a new fund, but uh, it's come out basically uh, over the period of time with, uh, in respects of uh, the COVID-19 um, uh, you know, support that, that's currently out there. Uh, so, so it's a five million uh, enterprise relief fund uh, uh, and what you find with, with schemes like this is that, um, you know, UK government uh, tend to look at areas of support and try to look at um, uh, areas within uh, in the economy that uh, uh, are kind of underrepresented in a way where they, they can't always apply for grants, you know, uh, maybe through Welsh Government or, or, or other schemes as well. So, so I think this is... Uh, this scheme is, is good and it's um, if you're 18 to 30, uh, it's a 5 million fund uh, and across the UK uh, for people who are self-employed, uh, running their own business <coughs> um, in, in conjunction with Cash Grant Initiative, we offer one-to-one -one support and guidance to anyone who needs it uh, and, and maybe worried about you know, the future of their business as well. Uh, grants can be used to maintain uh, core business operations during the crisis, uh, as well as meeting any existing financial commitments, uh, paying for essential equipment or invoices from suppliers. Additional grants will also support young people to diversify their business and respond to opportunities created by the crisis. So, you know, a, a, I don't know, an example of that would be, you know, we've seen a lot of, uh, of um, businesses at the moment um, looking to diversify currently into, you know, uh, pr uh, producing masks or, or face guards or, um, you know, uh, printing companies that change the way they operate, they're, they're, they're moving into uh, a lot of signage and things like that. So it kind of, <clears throat> that, 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 that's, um, I think that's what they're, they're looking into uh, diversifying. So cash flow is, um, is protected uh, and sales are protected as well. Um, so to be eligible to uh, apply, you must be a business owner age 18 to 30. Um, uh, you've set up their business in the last four years and don't have any other source of income uh, during the crisis. So I think it goes back to what I said about government looking at areas within funding support that, um, uh, that are not being covered. So uh, I think, I think it's, a, it's a good scheme. And um, uh, again, I've, uh, I've, um, I've provided a link on uh, the presentation for you to look at uh, more detailed information on it as well. I think the, uh, recently they, they have had a surge, of, you can imagine a surge of people um, uh, looking into this fund as well. So uh, they, they have said that um, calls will take a bit longer uh, and, and the response will, is, is slightly longer as well, as you would appreciate. So I think um, something, something to look at and uh, well worth um, uh, if, if you're aged between uh, 18 and 30. Um, <clears throat> so looking into, uh, it, <clears throat> there are other there are other funds out there, and these tend to be uh, loans, which I've not included in this, but, um, you know, it, it, there's organisations set up uh, on a not-for-profit basis um, that uh, offer loans to companies that otherwise wouldn't get normal access to funds through banks uh, and, and, and others. Uh, and and you know, just, just, I mean, Purple, uh, Purple Shoots is one that... Um, the charity set up to support um, small businesses, micro businesses to start up, uh, to provide loans. Uh, they're very, uh, they're very good on the loans. They're, they're, they're not expensive. They're there to support um, somebody setting up a sole trader or partnership or whatever. Have an idea, 
and it's, it's the support there as well for um, for business planning. Uh, I know the <coughs> organisation has um, uh, a number of voluntary mentors as well that, uh, that can help business um, uh, tap into uh, some of the financial support as well. Uh, and there's some others around as well that offer something similar uh, by way of loan as well. Um, but but just going back to what I mentioned earlier uh, about the, the funding landscape, uh, it does change, uh, and you know I would anticipate that um, you know maybe new schemes will come in because it, we are going through this process of uh, you know uh, when the business is open. So um, and, and that in itself will be a, a, a huge cost to individuals, whether in retail um, or, or, or um, manufacturing or, or whatever. Uh, there is a cost to pay for that to implement um, the social distancing you know, requirements from the government as well. So that could be, you know, it's a new way of operating for all businesses. So as I said, there, there'll be an element of cost to that, uh, certainly. And if you don't fit with that, of course, then there'll be an issue of you set, uh, starting back up. Um, so, uh, so yeah, as I said, the, the, the landscape does change and um, I think it would be uh, great to sort of come back and, and update you really on, on on some of the some of the funds that um, that are coming that may be coming out or, or at the development stage as well. Um, but <clears throat> what I try to do uh, on, on these slides really is to give you to give you an overview of basically what's in Wales currently. Uh, going back to the COVID nineteen slide I talked about earlier. Um, there are businesses that um, that uh, uh, yes, you would, you would imagine that the press uh, put out funds there. You know what what they're about, and, and companies have taken full advantage of them. Um, and I know the rate relief one was um, was a highly sort of uh, sort of fund where uh, different local authorities had different processes. I know that uh, maybe they have an application form that they're filling. Some had an online portal where you put all your information on and uh, and actually you know the, I think it was taking about 10 to 12 days uh, of payment in, in, in some local authority areas um, so there's there's the links to uh, some some of the funds that uh, I, I've been talking about as well and I think um, in, most importantly as well the, these sites are very good on you know useful information on, on something maybe you can you can sort of tap into uh, and um, uh, uh, and see whether your your business does fit uh, in, 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 into those uh, into those schemes. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the the sort of Business Wales uh, website is, uh, is is a very good tool to use if you are looking at, uh, at funds uh, and you're a small business. Um, you know, click on to the Business Wales website and you'll have tabs there to guide you through whether it's a, it's a grant that you're looking at or whether you're self-employed and you, know, you need uh, support uh, uh, for, for your business or for your design. There's, 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 there's a way of information there and it's, uh, it's good quality information as well. It's not, it's not hard to navigate through. Um, so, uh, Thanks for. I know it's it's a it's, it's a forty five minute presentation, but uh, what I try to do, hopefully, is is, is um, cover some of the some of the areas that maybe some people might not be aware of uh, are funding out there. Um, and any any funds that you do apply for, there is an application process, and they all differ in the content that is required, the information that's required. Um, but there is help out there to help individuals uh, to apply for funding um, and um, you know answer those questions that maybe uh, you may not be able to answer and, and some of the things that you know particular funds and the criteria set out that some of the things they look at that they want to see uh, that you may not may not be aware of that. So um, so yeah, well thanks very much and. Um, if there are any questions, um, I'll be happy to uh, to answer them. 
Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Dave. Um, thank you to everyone for attending. Today. There's no, there are no uh, uh, questions at the moment, unfortunately. Uh, okay, but uh, I think that uh, probably bear in mind that, uh, uh, as I said earlier, that the funding scene does change on a regular basis. So um, I think it's very important that. Um, you know, to keep on, to keep in touch, I suppose, with with things like this, to to be aware of what's uh, what's available, or, or or you will miss out. I mean, I I can only go back to my 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 whole experience of funding and uh, uh, the amount of businesses that said to me that um, you know I wish I met you a year ago, or uh, we didn't know about this. Um, and uh, I think it's, it's I think it's important to keep on top. We're all running business at the end of the day, and it's, it, it is very difficult to keep on top. This is my job, so I do on a regular basis. But I think for me, it's it's more about informing people, uh, and especially when uh, you know the events have happened uh, and businesses were forced to close uh, through government guidelines. Uh, I remember working the, the whole bank holiday and sending emails out to all, all clients to make them aware of the funding that was available out there for them and, uh, and information as well about the application process. Uh, and you will find that the COVID-19 support, um, it was a pretty streamlined uh, process because uh, government wanted to get that money out there ASAP to support businesses. And, and who knows, um, I would like to think that uh, moving forward, uh, it's going to be a different type of moving forward, but uh, government will consider some further support and uh, I'll be quite happy to uh, share share that information with uh, or, or, or everybody that passes and, and, and is on the scheme as well. So, uh, so thank you very much. You're welcome, certainly. And for those people who are uh, existing members of Kevin, um, you can speak to your Kevin manager uh, or myself, and we'll be able to put you in touch with Dave. If you aren't a member of Kevin, then um, uh, if you do uh, with us, then you'll be able to um, get access to Dave and his support and his knowledge, uh, as well as the same for many other people. Uh, again, a big thank you uh, to Dave for um, delivering the, the extremely useful uh, webinar. Uh, all, of, all of you who are watching, um, before you go, we'd be very grateful if you could put in the survey um, that's connected to the um, exit screen on Zoom. Um, sorry, 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 I missed that, sorry. Uh, we have a survey uh, when pe uh, people, when the attendees exit Zoom. Oh, right, yeah. We essentially give us uh, feedback to make sure that we are doing uh, what we need to do. So, and just to, to get uh, for you, all of you to give feedback to us as well. So again, many thanks, Dave. Okay, thank you very much.